Almost every single person in the last three months and probably beyond who have gotten first place in arena have cheated. They have been boosted and not only that, the developers know about the entire situation and they are doing nothing about it. That being said, I'll be breaking down this situation into three different parts. First will be who is doing this boosting, right? The second will be how they're doing this boosting. And the third and final part will be what the developer's response to me was. And on top of that, what the very, very simple solution that would solve this entire problem is. So who's doing this boosting? Well, I know personally of three different groups. First, being MAD. They're the biggest and most powerful guild in the entire game and a lot of other games. And the second group are just a group of Chinese people, right? And then the third group, and at the moment, by far the most powerful is the Russians. If you want to be allowed to get first place, you have to go through them. There is no other solution. They are the gatekeepers for who gets first place. Now, the thing is, you don't have to be Russian. You don't have to pay them money. You just have to agree that you will help boost other people. I've been aware of this situation only for the last four weeks. That being said, I can only personally confirm and show you evidence here that the last four people who got first place were all boosted by the Russians without an exception. But what I really want to make clear in this video is that they are not the problem. The people doing this are just abusing a system that has been abused from practically day one. They created it just so that they could fight against MAD who was abusing, abusing the system. Right. So if it's not the Russians, if it's not the Chinese, it's somebody else. It will always be somebody else. So don't go on some witch hunt looking for all these people getting their exact names. The reason why I covered up their names is because they're not important. The person and the persons who help me get this evidence, they're not the problem. Right. The game is now. How do they do it? Well, the Russians have a group chat on Telegram where they have a list and every week they take somebody off that list and they boost that person until they get first placed in arena. So exactly how they boost is slightly complicated, but I'm going to try to simplify it a bit here. Let's act like I'm a part of the Russian group and the Russians have selected fastidious to get first place. Okay. And I'm one of the boosters and I'm going to try to help fastidious get first. All right. So, what would happen is as a group, we would get as high as we can on the leaderboard, often very high. And then I would face against Fastidious and actively lose against Fastidious. And every single time I lose against Fastidious, Fastidious would get anywhere from 20 to two points for each loss. So the next thing we do is we'd see who's ever competing against Fastidious and we would actively target him as a group. So no matter how strong that person's defense is, after a while they'll eventually get knocked down into the lower parts of the ranking. So me and other people in my guild have personally dealt with this and have evidence to show it. As you can see here, it's pretty ridiculous. This is so efficient that they can get people who have no business even being in top 10 or top 20 to get first place. Now onto the developer's response. I sent to them almost all of the evidence you guys saw here and even more. And I came together with a group of other really high level arena players and we came up with a solution that would only affect the top 50 players in the game. I presented that solution to them and they came back after about a week and a half with this response right here. The team informed me that after an internal evaluation, they believe the scope for changes is quite limited. Any changes at this point would affect more regular players, so they are unlikely to make adjustments for now. However, they will continue to monitor the situation and they will keep us updated if there are any new developments. Now, that is a very disappointing nothing burger of a response. Now, before I delve more into their response, I want to tell you guys the solution that we proposed to them. Okay. 
as you guys remember, the main two problems are this. People are purposely losing against people and people are purposely targeting people they want to lose. Okay, so here's the first part of our solution. First off, these rules would only apply to the top 50 players, but excluding the top two. Every time you lose against someone's defense, after the first two losses, that person gains zero points from defending against you. This makes it so that I can't just purposely lose against somebody and they get points every single time. This makes it so that stops after the first two times. The third part is the person you're attacking doesn't lose any points after the second time you defeat them. AKA, if a group of a, you know 40 people or so are attacking one person, they can only attack that person twice. That's it. So that it really reduces the effect that that sort of targeting has on people. So as you guys saw, this would only affect the top 50 players in arena, nobody else. Okay. And not only that, but the top two people would be excluded so that at least they can fight it out between the two. Right. But the developer's response makes no sense when you see this solution. They said that it would affect normal players too much. So that's why they're not going to implement it. And they'll keep monitoring the situation. But as we know, that's not the case. Now, this is where I ask you guys for help, because if you made it this far in the video, you at least care to some extent. OK, so how are we going to change this as a community? We know that Moonton is very good at responding when we make our voices heard, when we make it very clear what we want. And I know that this doesn't affect a lot of you guys. So it's hard to be angry about something that doesn't affect you. But it just truly bothers me that this is something that they're allowing to exist. But it's important though to mention that a YouTuber a few months ago named Jake Smash brought this problem to the attention of the community and was actually able to get the developers to make a change and try to fix the problem. The issue is though that what they implemented didn't help at all and made zero difference. And we've known that since the update went live day one on the Forerunner server. We knew it would make no difference and here we are months later and nothing has changed. So don't go around yelling and screaming and saying the developers are corrupt bastards, right? That's not what's going to fix the problem. Just send this video to as many people as you can. Get the word around. Make people aware of this problem. Get some buzz going. And that's all we'll need to put a little bit of pressure, a healthy amount of pressure on the developers so that we can get this problem, this simple solution out there. And they can just make this problem go away. So for full transparency, I learned about this situation only when I personally got boosted to second place by a viewer that was a fan and just decided to do it out of nowhere. He didn't contact me. He didn't warn me about it. Nothing. He just did it. Right. And when I got to second place, I was before that at like fifth or sixth. So we got from fifth or sixth, to like second place, very high second place. And I started getting messages from people saying, hey, like back down, like don't even waste your time. We're just going to smash you. And that is when I got the messages from uh, Russians offering for me to in this week as of filming to get first place to say, all right, next time there's single target, you'll get first place. Right. That's what they offered me. And in the end, I decided to turn it down, you know, for obvious reasons can't be going around like a hypocrite, you know what I mean, making videos like this, but that's why I decided. But let's be real, I'm probably going to piss off the wrong people with this video, right? And I really am going on and putting myself in a bad position by releasing this video with all this information. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys didn't make this in vain and you guys do your best to help fix this situation. But Thanks for getting this far in the video, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.